Barry, the average pay for a FTSE 100 chief has jumped by 39% to an average of, and I had to sort of go back and reread this, to an average of 3.4 million. Majority of Brits are facing the biggest drop in real pay since records began. Is it time to not just talk about a minimum wage, but actually a maximum wage too, Barry? Well, I don't believe in prices and incomes policies. Uh, we've tried prices and incomes policies in the past, and they've been absolutely disastrous for the economy. Um, fortunately, uh, a lot of companies are uh, doing reasonably well at the moment in very, very difficult circumstances. Uh, many of these companies are very big, and certainly the top people have to be rewarded properly. But if you actually look at these salaries and compare them to the United States, if you compare them to what chief executives earn in the United States are running successful companies, they're actually a lot less. We're talking in the United States of hundreds of millions. It's all about creating value. Value uh, for the shareholders, value for the consumers. And that's a tremendous job to achieve. Natasha, what do you say to that? Um, I think this is a far, far bigger problem than that. I mean, I think one of the really major problems about this is the lower end of the scale. I think the, the cost of living crisis is really, really biting people. And it's biting people right now when, you know, energy prices haven't risen to the point that they're going to rise to. We've got food prices that are going to be escalating. And I think that's the real problem is when people who are really not being able to make ends meet right now. I mean, five pounds uh, here and there in, in, uh, in a weekly pay packet makes a massive difference to the, the sort of people that we're talking about. And they're seeing these enormous salaries for their executives. I think that that's the real problem, is that when people are really, really hurting, um, seeing these sort of salary increases is something, you know, that actually, it, it's just very, very difficult to talk about, uh, you know, uh, if you're seeing the strikers, you're seeing, you know, the sort of um, Mick Lynch out there sort of talking about um, uh, the rail unions, what people are earning. It's, it's, it's that end of the pay scale that's the real problem rather than the top end, I think.